thank you, Gregor. Good um, afternoon, gents. Uh, starting with uh, Nate, I'd like you both to to compare Hellebuck and Carey Price. It's quite the goaltending matchup in this series. How do they kind of compare styles and approaches? Compare? Both really, really good. Um, <laughs> I don't know if there's... I don't know if I want to compare. I mean, they're both uh, elite goaltenders. Um, both have some Vezina hardware. Uh, you know, I think... I don't know. I think it's... It's tough. I mean, you have both both goalies that are elite, and um, and have been. And you know, I think with uh, with Price, you know, I mean, he's. I guess the only difference is is he's been doing a little bit longer. Um, but I, I don't know. I don't know if it's that's tough to compare. They're both uh, elite goaltenders, and um, you know, a uh, couple of the best goaltenders in the world, if you ask me. Yeah, same thing as Thomas said. Um, I mean two of the best goalies in the NHL right now. And I think, you know, like, like Thomas said, the only difference is that, uh, you know, Price, I think, has just been doing it for longer. Um, but, I mean, both goalies give their teams a chance to win. Both goalies make their teams a better a better team every night. Um, you know, gives them a, a fairly good chance to win the hockey game, makes big saves at key times. And I think that, uh, you know, for a goalie, that's that's all you can ask for. And, um, you know, both guys do do that. Um, so it's 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 kind of hard to compare the the two, especially right now, with how both of them are playing. We'll go back to Paul Friesen for a follow up. Go ahead, Paul. Just wondering what kind of success you've had against Kerry over the years, Pierre Luc, if any. Uh, yeah. Um, I mean, I don't know how much of this goes into the playoffs, but I, I mean, um, scored. I think I scored my second or third game of the Bell Center, and, and he was in net. So that was a special moment for a Quebec kid, you know, watch him play when I, when I was younger. Um, but I mean, it's he's one of those goalies that, you know, you look at the net, you look at the holes to shoot at and you don't see much. So you're just kind of shooting um, and hoping it goes in, hoping you find a hole as the puck finds a hole as it's going towards the net. But, um, you know, goalies like that are hard to play against, but you can't, uh, you know, you got to keep shooting. You can't just. Uh, your confidence can't go down because you're not scoring. You know he's also paid to to stop the puck, so um, it's it's a good challenge going against him. We'll go next to Murat Atesh from the Athletic. Go ahead, Murat. Thanks, Gregory. Good morning or good afternoon, guys. This one's for Pierre Luc. Um, I just I reflect on the on the context of your year, the quarantine, injuries, and things like that. And and now after this long break, uh, it feels like. Your whole team will be on the same page. You've had good health for a while. I'm wondering what your perspective on on kind of riding that momentum into round two might be right now. Yeah, yeah, it's huge. It's, it's important. Um, like you said, it's kind of been an up and down year for me personally. Um, but uh, and I've had we've had a lot of time after this this first round to to practice together. I mean, I think we've had more practices now than we have in the past two months um, as a team. So it's it's big. It's um, you know, for, for me, who I mean, I, I got here at the beginning of the year, but I hadn't had much practice. It's, it's huge. And, um, you know, I think you I could take I, I took this time to, to get my game back in my hands uh, and everything, get the timing of it, um, you know, and, and prepare for this for the second round that that we've all been waiting for. We, we've all been excited to play tomorrow. We'll go next to Jeff Hamilton from the Winnipeg Free Press. Go ahead, Jeff. Hey, it's a question for, for like, a question for both of you guys in the sense of who's going to tell the truth did you was there a point where you switched from covering the Toronto Maple Leafs or studying the Toronto Maple Leafs to kind of paying more attention to the Montreal Canadiens or was there a break there where you had it off and at what point did you were you juggling both teams or did you even get to that point yet yeah I don't think I, I think it was um I don't think it was you know judging one team or the other I think you're just watching the game and you're um you know, you're looking at both teams, I think. Uh, I mean, both, I mean, to be honest, I mean, I used to play for them, so I wasn't too surprised, um, you know, what they did. Um, it's a resilient team over there. Um, you know, and then they got, they have Carey Price and they have a lot of guys that work extremely hard. Um, you could see, I mean, you could see the series shift to what was, I think, game five and, um, you know, I, I just had this feeling that they weren't out of it. Um, but uh, yeah, I don't think there was a, 
a view for me, like just looking at one team or the other, I think it was, you're just kind of looking at the game as a whole and kind of just, you know, watching the game and seeing, you know, good playoff hockey. Yeah, same thing. <laughs> Once again, uh, Thomas said, um, you know, it's as you're watching the series, you don't you don't necessarily know who's going to win, but, but you're just watching the games, um, you know, trying to see what both teams can do. And at the same time, we were also, you know, watching what, what we did right and what we didn't do right against Edmonton, how we could improve. And, um, you know, that game five, you saw it kind of shifted. And like you said, they're a resilient group. You saw, um, you know, what Brendan Gallagher said in the media that they're, they're a confident team. They never doubt themselves since the start of the season. And um, they have a lot of guys that work hard, that go to the net, that play a, a hard a hard playoff game. Um, so, it, it, I mean, it's not a surprise to, to us, you know, necessarily just because they, they work so hard. And, um, you know, and then you add Carey Price in net, that, that gives them a chance to win every night. Um, so now, you know, we did we did our video. We we you know we know how they play. We played them nine times or something this year. Um, so we're, we're just really excited to get going tomorrow. We'll go next to Ted Wyman from the Winnipeg Sun. Go ahead, Ted. Nate, uh, Pierre Luke touched on it a bit there, but you, you know, and you mentioned playing in Montreal, and you remember you used the word resilience. Is that what defines that team to you, or is there more to it? Uh, I think there's more to it than that. Um, you know, they've been through a lot this year. Um, they've had a lot of, they've had some ups and then had some downs. And, um, you know, I think it's a team that, um, you know, they kind of have a little bit of everything. You know, they, they have some speed, they work hard, they have some grit. But, um, yeah, I, I think, uh, you know, you look at the way they just won the last round and, um, it, you know, any team that comes back from 3-1, I've been a part of that. It, it takes a lot of character and um, and a lot of belief. And, you know, you can tell that team uh, believes in themselves and what they're doing. So, um, like I said, I wasn't I wasn't that surprised that they uh, pulled it off last night. So, um, you know, we have to be ready. Um, you know, it's playoff hockey. Every team is uh, at this stage is is here for a reason. Um, but at the same time, uh, we have to still uh, worry about us and, uh, you know, play our game and, and, and do what makes us successful like we did last round. We'll go next to Eric Angles from Sportsnet. Go ahead, Eric. Thanks, Gregor. Uh, this question is for Nate, just kind of a departure on what you were just talking about there, Nate. Uh, when you were last with the Canadians, their identity was almost purely based on speed. When you played them in the playoffs a year ago, it wasn't much different than that, uh, maybe a bit evolved. But the versatility that you were just referencing and, and what they have in terms of physicality and depth, do you see uh, some, some sort of mirroring to your own team? And if you do, what would that, what would that create in terms of a series that we're about to watch? Pretty good series. Um... I think you you know you look at their four lines, their D. Yeah, it's all, all a little bit of different uh, style. You know, I mean, you have some big bodies up front. You have some big bodies uh, on the back end. You have some speed up front. You got some speed on the back end. I mean, and then you have a really good goalie. Uh, you know, backstopping them there. So, um, you know, they've done a tremendous job of uh, you know rounding out that team into a, you know, complete, um, complete team, you know, with, with every style of game they can play. And um, yeah, I, I think you look at our team and it's pretty similar. I think we have a lot of the same, same attributes and um, it should be a really good series. I mean, there's probably not going to be a lot of room out there and, and guys are going to be fighting for every inch of ice and uh, it should be a lot of fun and we're looking forward to it. We'll go next to Gemma Carsten Smith from the Canadian Press. Go ahead, Gemma. Hi, guys. Nate, um, I'm wondering if you can touch a little bit on what it's meant to have all of this practice time in the last couple of uh, last week or so here. What has that done for you personally, and what has that done for the team? Well, I think, uh, you know, first off, I think, you know, after any emotional series like we had last time, it's, it's nice to have a little bit of rest. Um, and then, you know, we haven't like, like Doobie was saying, you know, we haven't practiced really this much since training camp, to be honest. So, you know, it's nice to uh, get some practices in, you know, work on some things. Um, 
you know, and um, get a little break. But at the same time, I think, you know, after a few practices, you can see guys are, uh, are itching uh, to get going. You usually don't want to have too much time off, but uh, I, I thought we've done a good job of, um, you know, pushing the pace in practices and, and, and making sure that, uh, you know, we keep that, uh, you know, that playoff edge, especially going into uh, this next round. We'll go next to Alexia B from uh, ICI Manitoba. Go ahead, Alexia. Hi, uh, my question is for Pierre-Luc Dubois. Uh, Pierre-Luc, vous avez joué à Columbus avec Josh Anderson pendant trois ans. Uh, vous avez vous, vous préparez à jouer contre lui demain. Qu Qu'est-ce qu que ça vous fait? Quel est votre état d'esprit? Oui, um, j'ai trois ans à Columbus. C'est un gars qui a acharpé là. Um, il avait déjà joué une saison, je pense, mais uh, on, a quand même, on a quand même passé des beaux moments ensemble. Um, c'est un joueur qui est, qui est difficile à jouer contre, beaucoup de vitesse, euh, très physique, pas facile à contenir. Um, ça, va être, ça va être le fun, ça va être une grosse série, je pense. Um, il sait qu'il si joue une très bonne saison, il joue très bien depuis le début de l'année. Um, mais sur la glace, tu n'as pas d'amis. Sur la glace, tu joues ces cinq joueurs du Canadien contre, ou six joueurs du Canadien contre ces joueurs des Jets. Um, mais uh, peut-être qu'après la série, on va avoir plus de temps de parler. Uh, mais je pense que pendant la série, uh, ça va. Ça va être, euh, comme j'ai dit, moi, je fais partie des Jets maintenant, lui fait partie du Canadien. On va à Simon Olivier Lorange de la presse. Go ahead, Simon. Uh, thanks, Rear. The question is, is going to be for Pierre-Luc. Um, Pierre-Luc, c'est ta première saison à, à Winnipeg. Tu t as, t as rencontré le, le coach Paul Maurice, c'est ta première saison avec lui, sans faire de comparaison avec ton coach précédent. Euh, Peux-tu me parler du style de Paul Maurice comme entraîneur, justement? Qu'est-ce qui, qu sont peut-être son, son approche de, de, de ce que tu as pris ici dans, 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 son, dans son style, justement? Euh, oui, bien, à la base, c'est deux coachs qui, qui, qui veulent le, le meilleur de leurs joueurs. C'est deux coachs qui, qui veulent pousser leurs joueurs à, à devenir le meilleur qu'ils peuvent être et aider l'équipe à gagner. Um, je, que, je pense que pour Paul, um, c'est beaucoup, beaucoup d'apprentissage pendant que, que tu joues. Um, c'est des, des erreurs. Des erreurs, c'est correct, correct d'en commettre, mais il faut que tu apprennes de tes erreurs. Il faut que, faut que tu continues à, à développer. Il um, ne faut pas que tu te fasses la même erreur trois, quatre, cinq fois d'affilée. Um, mais tu sais, il, il veut que tu ailles sur la glace et, et que tu apprennes. Je pense que c'est la seule façon, des fois, d'apprendre, de, c'est de, de commettre des fautes ou de commettre des, des, comme je dis, des erreurs et d'apprendre de, de ça. Um, mais comme je dis, c'est deux coachs qui ont la meilleure de leurs joueurs, c'est deux coachs qui, qui poussent les gars. Um, c'est des coachs qui font attention aux détails, qui, qui, qui croient aux détails de la game, c'est ça qui fait la différence. Et pas juste ça, mais aussi la, la mentalité, um, la, comment tu approches les matchs, comment que, que, que tu approches une série, c'est ça qui peut faire la différence entre une victoire et une défaite. And final question to Luke Shalina from LDS. Go ahead. Thank you very much. My question is for Pierre-Luc as well. Pierre-Luc, ça, ça représente quoi pour toi une, une série contre les Canadiens? Tu sais, euh... En tant que jeune Québécois, puis est-ce que tu auras peut-être même de la famille ou des amis au Centre Bell pour les, les matchs 3 et 4? Ouais, euh, je ne sais pas, j'ai vu le, le prix des billets, fait que je ne sais pas si je vais avoir des amis là euh, pour les matchs, mais euh, probablement je vais en avoir dans, dans les rues. Euh, je vais en avoir dans les rues qui vont regarder le match à l'extérieur de la cage au sport. Mais je pense que ça reste, ça reste un, une série d'hockey, ça reste une, une équipe, euh, l'équipe adverse, mais c'est sûr que. Quand j'étais plus jeune, je regardais le Canadien jouer, je regardais le Canadien dans les séries. Um, C'était des, des moments spéciaux quand tu es plus jeune. Maintenant, c est, c est, c est, on joue contre eux. Um, mais je pense que quand, quand la série commence demain, quand, quand le premier face-off commence, quand tu as, as pris ton premier titre, tu as, as fait ta première mise en échec, um, c'est une équipe comme les autres pour moi. Uh, tu ne penses pas nécessairement à, à contre qui tu joues, ou le, le moment, um, tout ça. Je pense que quand tu es sur la glace, tu penses juste à gagner, à aider ton équipe ton équipe, peut-être qu'à la fin de la série ou euh, à, la, ouais, à la fin de la série, quand, genre, quand je vais y repenser ou quand je vais en parler peut-être à, à ma famille ou à mes amis, peut-être que j'aurai remarqué que c'était peut-être plus spécial, mais au moment que de, demain, euh, le premier face-off commence, c'est une série comme les autres pour moi. Merci beaucoup, les gars.